I was saying to uh, just to my friends, man, I'm, you know, I cried on my 25th birthday. Mm-hmm. I cried on my 30th birthday, and on my 35th birthday, I was like, "Damn, dude, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna actually live." You know what I mean? And so, just thinking about you know that journey from the time I got drafted to the time I hit 30 was just, it was just a lot. Coming back home, you know what I mean? Having to deal with that, you know, being on the road, people, right. you know, just during the season, people think you soft, say something to you, you know, you got to go find them in the off season and see if it's real. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Like, just wow. You know what I mean? And, like, I think once I kind of got to go to state, you know, things just start kind of, like, leveling out. I was like, man, let me change. Let me change who I am. And, and like, I don't need to be this. This is not me. You know what I mean? I'm not... I'm not like I'm not like this, you know. I, I want to be. And what do you have to prove? Like I didn't have yeah, shit like to you're prove. A fucking, you know, you're a millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> you're on TV every day playing yeah, basketball. And I, yeah, like. and at the same time, like, bro, I'm scared to die. Yeah, it's real out here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like they they shoot at athletes out here back in the day. Crazy, right? Remember Jalen Rose got shot at. Mm-hmm. Why are you shooting at Jalen Rose? Right. Who the fuck shoots at Jalen Rose? You know what I mean? And he was on Sunset. So that just, you know, for me, it was just like that era was a lot of jacking. You know, it was a lot of uh, pressure, extortion. You know, just. Like NBA players were getting extorted? All day. NBA wow. players, rappers, uh, musicians, anybody came to LA, it was just not a good place to be. You know what I mean? Right. Like if you got found or you was out shopping, and like if, if you can stay low, cool. But back then, if you was. You was on the move and you get caught. It, I mean, you at their mercy. I was gonna say because I, I always like like obviously a lot of the stuff is highly back to the camera phones thing. We see a lot more of the yeah. people getting robbed on Sunset or on Melrose, and it's yeah. like yeah, that kind of shit has always been happening in L.A. But I feel like back in the day, it was really like peak. You kind of had to come to L.A. and like. If you were going to move around, you really had yep. to be in line with some guys to make yep. sure that there wasn't any sort of... Yeah, every, yeah, that was the whole, like, uh, the tap-in era. The tap-in era, people's chains were getting took, people Absolutely. had to get the chains back. Yeah, you get the chain back. We got to, I mean, you know, I got a couple chains back from some for some uh, some rappers, actually. No basketball players. Whose chain but, did you get back? <laughs> nah, <bro>. <laughs> 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 hey bro, we don't talk what, like that. What, what's it, what label were they from? <laughs> I don't even know what label they. Are. <laughs> I just know they're one of my favorite. You know, one of my favorites. Uh, you know, a couple rappers, man. Just that's just how I be. You know what I mean? Like a couple rappers, just like come to LA, shit gets lost yeah. in. And you got to think, like coming up in that game era, the era with the game when game was first. Starting to like break out, oh, like yeah. it wasn't no blood rappers. Mm-hmm. It wasn't no bloods, famous. Period. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you really think Outside about it, outside of Mac Ten, yeah, it was Mac Ten, and then and then the game, and then everybody was a blood. Everybody started being bloods. You yeah. know what I mean? So imagine like rocking with a blood that is on his on his way up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? In L.A., so it was a lot to deal with with that. And he was the face of L.A. for like a decade. Yeah, he He carried the whole coast for like a very long time. Yeah, and and I think it it just kind of, for me, like hanging with Game made me realize that, okay, my plan was me and Game rocking together. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can unify the music, I can unify the hoop, and then we can create this L.A. unified system where like, we can make it better for dudes. Right. You know what I mean? Like, we can stop all the jacking and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, at least if they fucking with us, if right. they rolling with us, right, like, right, you right, ain't right. going to get jacked. You ain't going to get robbed. You ain't going to get into no funny business. Right. You know what I mean? And, like, that was the goal is really, like, once I saw that, I was like, man, like, Nip coming, Dom coming. You know, YG had had a couple songs, but yeah, Dom, yeah, YG yeah. was on his way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was a bunch of dudes just like, on they rise, and I was like, "Damn, dude, uh, Kendrick, you know what J-Rock. I mean? J Rock yep. was out, but J Rock was like on his yeah. way. So like, uh, I remember we did the gang, the Crips and Bloods gang documentary, mm-hmm. and uh, I was like, man, I need to put a soundtrack together. And on the soundtrack is all them dudes, like damn their first soundtrack, right? I remember first real you, album. How long ago was that documentary? Uh, I think was that I like want to say 2015? No, nah, twelve four. I think. 
2004? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was like 2004 or when I got to, yeah, it was like 2004. 